is college the only way to get a decent career to a decent income? Not to say it's always all about money, but money is a big factor that plays into that. Um, but then also another thing to think about is that from what I remember reading somewhere is that tuition prices have been going up in recent years. And then student loans, you know, people are owing a ton of student loans. And like, I think just people seeing other people struggle with student loans or just makes people more skeptical of whether it's worth it. Not skeptical of whether college works, but maybe skeptical of whether it's worth it. Do I regret going to college? Do I regret the student loans? No, not really. Like, I don't think I do because it did help me write better. It helped me form arguments better, philosophy and all that stuff. And that goes a long way on different job. Being able to think for yourself, that's great. Uh, Just having that degree where I can have more job opportunities is great. Uh, It depends on which uh, degree you choose. Because certain degrees, I think people are learning, are kind of throwaway degrees. Like college degrees that really can't get you a job or they just don't pay that well. The ROI doesn't seem to match, right? Spending so many years uh, studying and, and, and schooling and then... You know, unless it's a vocational aspect that that once, you know, really passionate about something, you know, in terms of financial gains, potentially it's not it's not that great. Maybe maybe personal goals, you know, that people have could could fulfill that. Right. You know, somebody could get a degree in theology or anthropology and, you know, perhaps the the the, the career, you know, jobs that you could find within that are not as great, you know, maybe, maybe it's a passion, right? So like you said, it probably depends, right? Maybe some, like you said, I, I, I'm in the same boat, you know, we, we both went to, to college and I don't, I don't uh, regret having gone to college. Thankfully, you know, I, I, I worked really hard and, and paid off my, my student loans while being in college, but uh, well, actually, no, I didn't take out any loans. Um, but like the balance that I had to pay, I just like worked like three jobs, you know, and, and did 18 hours. So it's just craziness, but got to learn from, from, from great professors that gave me a, a better understanding of the world. Right. I, I even noticed the difference going back home and seeing how I could express myself and articulate myself Same. was much different. Yeah. Maybe if I would have started working right after high school, I would have had uh, just like the experience and more like street smart, right? But I think it provided an opportunity to develop myself a little bit further, not just education, but mainly an experience. I really think it depends on the degree. Like if, for example, if you're going to get a law degree and you're going to become a lawyer, or you're going to get a medical doctor uh, certification and become a doctor or go into the medical field or, you know, related fields, big fields like that, then yeah, probably a college degree is worth it in terms of income. You can justify it. Huge difference. Now, if it's something like a business degree, it's kind of risky. What if you're unable to start the business that you wanted to start? And then that degree becomes something that you just owe a whole bunch of student debt on, unless you have a good scholarship, unless you get free college for whatever circumstances, unique circumstances, or you pay for it. Like for another, there's one that I heard about under underwater knitting. Like there's a degree in underwater knitting. And it's like, you know, I don't see what jobs are going to come out of that. You know, rich people who can just doesn't money doesn't matter. To, yeah, that's one thing. But if you're going to that expecting a job, you know, a good, decent income. Yeah, that's that's scary. You know, and I think that's what a lot of people are realizing is like with certain degrees like philosophy, like I would love to get a degree in philosophy. But at the same time, I've heard many people say you can't get any good decent income for a philosophy degree it comes yeah, out and, and, and sometimes uh you know people and it's very i think it's it's so crazy because nowadays i talk to people and the degree that they got sometimes it's not even what they work on now they got a degree in in music and, and they're doing business or they got a degree in art now they're working for for a hospital or something like that and i've heard it's like say that they didn't get a college degree and they're making more money than people with college degrees you know yeah people say that too they're like yeah we didn't even go to college and we're making so and so much more money and stuff like that i i had a lot of uh friends during high school that they would say like hey i'm just what i'm gonna do i'm not even gonna go to college i'm just going to go uh work at a company and become a manager that's 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 what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start because that's what we essentially do. Like when, when we come out of college, we do the entry level jobs, right? But we already have a bachelor's degree. So people coming out of high school, they do that entry level job, 
during those four years or three years or two years that like somebody is in college, they're getting experience, right? So they have those two or four years of experience ahead of somebody, you know, going to college. And then at that time, when, when the, the person who, who comes out of college and starts a job, they have to do that entry level job. And then that person that started from high school is already like ahead, right? And a lot of companies we're seeing nowadays, I was talking to my girlfriend and her company as well. You know, they're not requiring college degrees anymore. Oh, they're right. requiring experience. Yeah. I even know that. yeah. It's, it's so crazy. And that's right. It's on the same level that puts college degrees and high school on the same level. You know, it's like, exactly. That's exactly. Right. It's so it's like it's people want the experience more than 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 a college degree. You know, and that's interesting because it used and I've heard many people say this recently to me, like it used to be that having a bachelor's degree was a huge deal. It was a really big deal to have a bachelor's degree, a college degree, just a basic college degree. And it would get you such a higher level of income and way yeah. better job options. And now then it became having a master's degree is a big deal. Right. And now then it well, not even now, but then it became a PhD is a big deal. And now I'm hearing people tell me that even having a PhD isn't a big deal anymore. That companies don't even, it's not even as big of a deal as it used to be. So it's like, so then people are like, some people are saying, you know, you know, why don't you get your PhD? And I'm like, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool to have a PhD. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be awesome, you know, to have the doctor title and all that stuff and to have maybe to learn more, to get different things. Yeah. To do research. And I, so. I question it that I'm saying, but what, what, what benefit would I really, what practical benefit would I get out of a PhD? That's, that's you know, what maybe, it is. Maybe like, is it, if it would bump my pay up by like over $10,000, maybe. Like a ten thousand yeah. dollar plus raise in my income, maybe it's worth it. But then you got to remember, not e most PhD programs. A lot of them are free and paid for. Yes, not all of them are. So if I were to do it, it would have to be for free. I'd have to make the time for it. I would have to have a job that can work without, and I would have to make enough money. And so the, there's a lot of there's some sacrifices that go into it, and you really have to think about whether it's worth it. And for me, it's yeah. like unless it's going to be a significant income increase and like I have to ask what benefits. Otherwise, why do I need to, you know? Then I can do my own research.